Welcome back to another build video, guys. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mutilus Serenos. <coughs> and, um, this weapon's pretty good. I have two builds for you. I got a hybrid build. I got a, uh, crit, uh, well, I got a status build and a hybrid build of crit and status. Which is this one. If you really, really want to. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I have a second miss. <coughs> I have, I don't I don't want this to be annoying. I simply switch from malignant force for a uh, vital sense, but we'll take a look at that soon. We'll be taking a look at the main build right here, and we'll also kind of copy the build, which is thermo just two dual stat mods. I, I added three formal, which are three Vs. Uh, simple, easy for heavy cow serration. And split chamber and two dual stat mods will hit you up to a 100% status chance. A speed trigger mod. <coughs> to increase your charge. And then two 90% status damage mods. Uh, if I'm guessing you guys will need a fourth form of putting another dash in there would be smart. But if you are mainly going towards a crit build, add another two Vs. For another two more forma, which I really highly don't encourage you unless this build is good. That's why we're taking a look at this. This is a corrosive. <coughs> this is the gas build. I don't want a gas build. I want a corrosive build. Stormbringer. Which will allow me to hit 5,600 corrosive damage. 5,600 gas damage. 100% status chance, which means the first shot will proc gas, and then you have the second shot coming in procking another gas. And we're going to be using this with Mag Prime. Uh, so, if you do see the Cernos, or the Mutilus Cernos, as you see, there's these little toxic clouds following the arrows going to its destination, which leaves another gas cloud, which means you get double your gas damage. That's pretty much it. We we'll are taking a look at this thing going against a uh, level 100 corrupted heavy gunners. And you might think that's a lot. But, you know, honestly, for the mag and mutilus cernos, or yeah, mutilus cernos, it really is not anything. And uh, you would be using the corrosive build because you would still have the gas in there, but you would also have the corro or the corrosive damage. But the gas damage here is actually going to help you. It's going to help you take care of corpus tax and stuff like that. <coughs> That's out. That's kind of awkward. Yeah, so if you wanna if you wanna do if you wanna kill them faster, simply go to the corrosive build. <coughs> and you'll see this have a shocking difference when killing high armor targets. Notice how he's the only one. <coughs> yeah, he's dead. Yeah, so the corrosive does have a much bigger standpoint. Now we're going to be taking a look at the hybrid build, which is going to be 100% stat chance with 37.5% critical chance with argon scope. You'll proc it and what we're hoping to do is hitting critical gases, and critical corrosives. Oh, hail to the fucking nah. <coughs> 
It's gonna take longer to charge up, but you will hit that Argon scope. Which it will give you a really, really good amount of damage, as you see there. Once again, I highly encourage you to not build towards the hybrid build. And uh, unless you want to add one more V, and then I'm pretty much fine with that. But your whole, the whole purpose of, uh, of this build is to hit critical toxins and critical corrosives. That, that's the whole point of this build right here. Pretty decent if you ask me. <coughs> now, what we can also do is simply go to the build, replace malignant force, and gives us a 91.1% status chance but instead we give it a vital sense to in further increase our crit damage which will allow us to hit for even uh, even more critical corrosive procs at a much higher damage and every critical uh, toxin proc is going to do more damage over time thanks to that crit You won't be doing as much corrosive damage, but you will be doing a lot of damage. And in my opinion, very decent build. It only works with mag, but uh, <coughs> I only highly encourage adding another V at the bottom here. That's pretty much the only way I would encourage you to do this. Therefore, you can then add a uh, vital, not a vital sense, add and a vital sense into the dash polarity right here. But you could also do is it's a really stupid move, but allows you to hit crits more. Simply replace vital sense with malignant force go over here and put on critical delay to hit yourself up with a 44.7% crit chance but with a three and a half second charge up <laughs> oh my god oh, let's test this out let's test this out hold on let's test this out two <laughs> it takes so long to charge up and it's not even that worth it too <coughs> yeah you hit more critical corrosive procs but why would you want a charge timer that's this slow <laughs> why ah uh, okay let's let's get back into the actual stuff here Okay, <laughs> that was cool. I, I'd stick with this build though, in my opinion, it does d enough damage. But but what I really do want to test out is I will be putting some form on the Daiku. Honestly, I will. But I want to put a cr a critical delay on it. It gives you a six point twenty five charge rate. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it won't even let you shoot it either. Oh my god. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Mutilus Theranos guys, hopefully you enjoy the video. Let's take a look at the three builds once again. And you know what? We'll test out this build and the hybrid build on Corpus Tex. Who doesn't love Corpus Tex? 
because I know I don't like corpus text at all. They're the most annoying thing. The gas really does murk them, but half the damage they were taking was them shooting their own guns. So let's actually do it from a distance, shall we? Idiots. <coughs> Numbers. Two simple shots, they're all dead. <coughs> very, very good. Very, very useful. Let's try the critical hybrid build. 37.5% crit chance, but instead of uh, high voltage, we're going to be making a gas build. We could use a uh, viral build if, I, if we really, really want to. But I don't have uh, a D polarity because I don't know what DE was thinking. Actually, you know what? Um, never mind. Gas damage. <coughs> it's a second to charge up, but at least it's not as bad as that six second charge up with the Daiku. And shkabloo. Critical gas procs. Guaranteed dub. One, one million minutes in survival. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, possibly subscribe, and make my day. And peace out.